if I only had 90 days to become a SOC analyst, I honestly wouldn't expect to get hired. But I would expect to build structure. I'd have a plan. Gain hands-on experience and enough momentum to know that I'm headed in the right direction. In today's video, I will share with you exactly what I would focus on learning, doing, and building over 90 days. So you're not just guessing, but you're actually preparing for the role. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, hello, my name is Steven, and I've been working in cybersecurity for about nine years now, mainly within the security operations domain. On this channel, you'll find videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and SOC-related projects that you can work on and put onto your portfolio. Now, let's talk about what I would do in 90 days, not to guarantee myself a job, but to build a strong foundation for becoming a SOC analyst, starting with mindset and expectations. I'll be completely honest with you, most people, especially beginners, will not get hired as a SOC analyst in 90 days. And that's not to discourage you, it's to keep you grounded. What you can do and expect in 90 days is build consistent learning habits, start investigating real alerts, create proof of progress, and get into a rhythm that makes you job ready over time. Your objective should be building habits that you can sustain. And here is what I would focus on learning in those first 90 days in no particular order. I'll learn how real attacks unfold by reading threat reports from resources like Red Canary, Palo Alto, Mandiant, and the Defer Report. I'll review the cyber kill chain and the MITRE ATT&CK framework until I get a solid understanding of them. I'll pick a few common techniques and understand how they show up in logs. I'll focus on learning how to read and interpret logs such as, but not limited to, identity, endpoint, and network telemetry. The objective is to get used to asking, what does this tell me? Lastly, I'll learn how popular SOC tools work by reviewing job applications and seeing what kind of tools a candidate should have experience in. Then I will try and find free resources on said tool or a similar tool. For example, I'll try out the Elk Stack, Splunk, or Sentinel and learn how alerts are generated, how to query events, and build visualizations. The point isn't to master these, but to get comfortable or at least exposure with the tools a SOC analyst is expected to know. And here is what I would do each week. From week one to two, I'll explore and experiment by setting up a lab environment or I'll use free tools and platforms. My goal here is to get some hands-on experience. I'll click around, break things, and learn by doing. I am not aiming for efficiency yet, I just need to start. For weeks three to six, I'll investigate common alerts. I'll focus on events like phishing, failed logins, and unusual sign-ins. I'll try my best to walk through how I would investigate them using logs and the available tools, paying close attention to what the data is telling me. Weeks 7 to 10, I will document what I learned. I'll start writing short summaries of my investigations, lessons learned, or how certain tools work. It doesn't have to be perfect, but what matters is building a habit of reflecting and keeping track of my progress. Finally, in week 11 to 12, I'll try and get some feedback. I'll share what I've been working on in Discord communities or on LinkedIn. I'll ask for feedback from more experienced professionals. And remember, I'm not trying to impress anyone. I just want to keep growing and stay consistent. By doing this, here is what I'd hope to accomplish by day 90. I would want a simple lab or an account on platforms like Cyber Defenders, Let's Defend, or Try Hack Me, to name a few. I would hope to have at least two to three short investigations or write-ups, a weekly routine that I could stick to moving forward, and a few connections from people that I can learn from, ask questions, and grow with. But most importantly, clarity. I know what I'm building towards. I would feel like I actually belong in this field. And I'll start becoming the kind of candidate that hiring managers are looking for. If you're interested in becoming a SOC analyst and are looking to gain some hands-on experience using Microsoft tools such as Defender or Sentinel, I'm currently building another 30-day challenge that will focus on Microsoft's security stack. And you can sign up for the waitlist down below or you can head over to mydfir.com forward slash challenge. And depending on when you are watching this, the challenge might already be out. And that is it for the video. Thank you for watching. And if you found this informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.